Se que de lo bajo, se que de lo bajo, Uruguay mi oti de ojo se que le. Welcome, everyone, to Theory Forge Chronicles. <clears throat> I am, of course, Phantom X, joined by Diggs. It's just the two of us again, because this is sort of an irregular night. Um, it's a Thursday, not a Friday. But we felt like maybe there's some stuff to talk about. Um, how you doing, Diggs? I'm doing pretty good. I voted. I still have not. Um, uh -huh. I am still waiting um, till tomorrow. No, I'll probably do it tonight. I, I was just kind of... I've been more paying attention to how all the votes have been playing out than doing it myself. Because, again, I, I don't have a lot. I'm just going to follow whatever the king... I mean, I said that last week. I'll just kind of follow whatever the kingdom says to do because I don't have a lot of concern necessarily personally. But, um, yeah, we're here to kind of talk about there's only... Well, there's less than 24 hours now. And so we are starting to hit the stretch. Um, the voting will end tomorrow at noon Pacific time. And I think Town Crier already talked about this. I had put it in our Discord. There was sort of a little difference. That they, of course, the post said noon. The timer on the website says actually one, but I think they're fixing that back. So it is anyone who watched Town Crier already knows this, but it will be, it is noon. So I think they're going to fix the website. So it's accurate. Um, so have you been paying much attention to Discord? I've actually probably been in Discord more the past week uh, of the official Discord than I have this entire time, just because I'm so interested. But no, I was just there briefly within the last hour and shocked to see your name <laughs> there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I've been looking at the maps a little bit, but not actually going into Discord too much. To um, I think I had a couple of updates, you know, Caspian updates, but uh, not really going into Discord to see what's happening there. You know, we, we talked a lot about, and this is, for everyone watching, this is really going to kind of be more of an interesting, just because I'm interested, deep, to kind of dive into the statistics of all this and where things might go and what might happen in the next few hours. Um, but when we last talked also, there we talked about some of the drama that was starting to pick up. That actually has kind of settled down. Now, there's a lot of people in and out of Discord that are saying, vote this map, vote that map, you know. Well, we want server wants this and wants that. Um, everything that was sort of sparked a week ago has really kind of died out, which is unfortunate for me. I, I, I mentioned last time, I feel like that conflict is what drives the story. That's what makes it interesting. But we are not yet into round two. So I, as we also talked about, thinking round two is where it's going to get really interesting. Um, if anything, because we aren't going to know what the numbers are. You know, we, we, um, if you know where to look, you know what the numbers are, right? Uh, currently, that will not happen in round two. So there's going to be a lot of, huh, what, I wonder if they actually are voting like they're going to vote. Um, I think there'll probably be, you know, hopefully that there potentially could be some surprise into what are the top five. Um, but that's sort of what I want to go into. And, mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to kind of break this down is to uh, pre and post Caspian's last update today is he every day updates the top five for each server. So kind of break into what was going on at that time versus actually the numbers that I just pulled now. Um, so if you're not really interested into like numbers sort of thing, then you might not want to watch the show. You might want to watch us tomorrow. Um, I just find a lot of this super interesting. Um, so the, 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 the you can look at this in Discord. Um, as of Caspian's uh, post, I'll just run down real quick. So Angelica was uh, one through five is I, H, L, S, K. Luna is N, A, T, R, and G. And Celine is B, C, Q, J, and P. Uh, those were as of, I think that was at, it was 11 o'clock e central my time today, um, were the current server orders. Uh, interestingly, I, well, maybe not interestingly, again, kind of breaking into this, the um, top two have really not changed at all over the last week. Uh, the servers have pretty well picked what they want at this point as far as the top two. Three through five has shifted around quite a bit, um, but those top two servers 
have been really persistent. The only place where they had at all flipped was Celine, and of course that was right. Of course, you know, one that was that whole drama started off with one group picking one map and then everyone else picking the other. So that was really the only big flip. Um, otherwise, those top two have persisted for a while, and actually their percentages have stayed relatively the same. Um, so, actually, it, you know, one thing I wanted to get into is sort of, I think there's an expectation that maybe not a lot will change from now till tomorrow. I don't know if that's true. And also, I don't know if what is currently one and two is going to be what will be number one, you know, if number one will be number one in round two. Because um, one of the things that we've seen, well, if interrupt me at, at all, if you want to interrupt me. Um, uh, I'm going to interrupt <laughs> when I get a chance to, yeah. Um, one of the... I guess kind of expected, just based off how most uh, communities are with games that are not yet released. The um, as of this morning, it was 54% of all influence had been placed, and 37% of the possible votes have been placed. Uh, vote people who could vote have voted um, as of this morning. So those are fairly small numbers, but I guess you can sort of expect that um, at some point there's a drop off. Now we'll see if that changes overnight um, into tomorrow. Um, Theoretically, there's a lot of IP out there still to make a big change, a big push. Um, I don't know that there'll be a lot more spent. I, I would say if you could get to 70% of the IP available spent by the time up tomorrow, that would be like a huge, great thing. I don't know that we'll get there. Um, you know, the, yeah. Go ahead. I do want to jump in real quick just to say. Um, for myself, when I was voting, I am kind of split between, um, I think, um, I and H uh, on Angelica. Um, and I have two sparks. Um, so I was thinking about splitting it, but since there is that little bit of contention between, uh, is it uh, Luna? Mm hmm. Luna uh, with Map H, which one has Map H? Uh, yeah, Luna and Angelica. I went ahead and went all in for H um, just to kind of nudge Angelica keeping H since they're so <laughs> close. Um, so I, I am interested to see if the late voters are thinking about things like that as they wait or if they just don't care and will just do whatever they want to do at the last minute. Um, but, um, you know, thinking through those things could be, uh, I don't know, helpful is the, but influential maybe is the word that I'm looking for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's, there's two things, right? So there's the outstanding IP and then there's the fact that people could split their vote before noon tomorrow and take votes away. And we've seen that in, on some of the maps where they've actually mm -hmm. decreased. Mm -hmm. Uh, so say someone figures, well, I, I have we have whatever I voted on locked. I'm going to split it to try to get you know three, four, or five, whatever it might be. You you also you have both ways that could shift tomorrow. I forgot about that. So I have two sparks, even though I put it on one. Can I still split that? Or do you just? If you have two sparks, you could split it one time. You'd have two votes. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. You'd split it in half. I don't know if you'd want to do that, but um, you could. And, but there's, there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of sparks. I mean, they could split this in a lot of n a number of different ways. Yep. Um, and depending on how intent you are at getting one of those lower numbered maps into your server, your top five, I mean, there could be a lot of flipping around tomorrow. Um, if they see someone from Luna sees, you know, Celine, we're kind of close. I want that map in ours. We're going to nudge it up a little bit to get it so they could split their vote, put it on, you know, a third, a third place map that they want. And the reason I think that's important, and this is getting back to some of the, the statistics behind it, um, when you actually look at when you go one through 20, you, you can break it into percentage. So where are all the votes placed? And, um, only Celine, their two, their top two maps. When you add up the percentages, comes out to. Um, I have it here. Fifty-three uh, percent. So their top two maps at this point comprise of fifty-three percent of the IP that's been spent on that server. They are the only server at this point that has a combination above fifty percent. 
Um, looking at this, so Luna's top two is uh, 42%, and Angelica's top two is 47%. So those two together do not make up 50% of the IP that has already been spent. I'm not saying what's available and not spent. This is of what has been spent. No top two other than Celine have a greater than 50% IP. Um, so what we see, my point, I guess, is what we see as a number one, um, Angelica's number one has 27% of the votes, Luna's number one has 23% of the vote, and Celine's number one has 35% of their vote. Th those are not near 50%. <laughs> a lot of people voted on a lot of other maps. Um, you know, that could very well not end up how the second round plays out because um, these are people that have played so or have uh, put in their IP. So it's, it's, it's there. Um, we just don't know how it's going to get used in the second round. So actually, I actually think there could be quite a few surprises after we get through the second round. Um, again, because when you look at the numbers, there's just no clear number one map. Um, there just isn't. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, I wish we could see the data in the second round because I, I, this just really intrigues me. But um, I don't know. I, I just, it's all about conflict. And <laughs> Serpentius is thinking that uh, it's kind of cutting there, thinking that some people might be hanging out to the end to try and uh, upset the known variables. So um, that would be very interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, like one of the, but the type of conflict I guess I was kind of hoping for um, when I think about, you know, how I like conflict is not so much about the combat, but. Um, so map E is one of those that has a, a single choke point in the middle. Um, and I would love, I would have loved had the dross been on either side of the choke point and then moving uh, their trade animals or just the, the, the two sides trying to trade within each other. Um, spreading disease through the choke point, that's the kind of stuff that I'd like to see in the maps is, um, I'm not really intending to cause trouble, but I got to trade with my people and that causes disease to your people. I mean, that's not really my fault, but <laughs> then we might have to figure out who's going to hold the choke point to eat. Are you guys going to try and freeze us out or, um, but the maps aren't really put, set up that way, but that's the way I would prefer to see the maps where I could, um, know firsthand based on the biomes and based on the cultures, I could easily see how the conflict would naturally play out versus um, everything still seems a little contrived. The, the, the conflicts between the tribes seems overly contrived and racist to me, but um, I prefer for that to happen more naturally based on the map design. Yeah. But we'll see what happens now. And we will get sort of better lines also in round two. So, I mean, all of yeah. this could change. Yep. Um, yep. It's just interesting. So the first four, um, first four days, so again, just looking at numbers, and I'll get to the reason why. So the first four days that this was open, 33% uh, of the influence had been spent and 25% of the votes. Since then, each and every day, it's sort of decreased. Um, it's gone down the, um, the last four days just by influence. It was 7%, uh, 4%, 3%, and then over yesterday into this morning, it was 3% influence. So that's how much more has been put into it. And then as far as the number of votes, that's gone from 7 to 2 to 2 to 1. So we've sort of had a drop off. And um, the amount of people now, the reason I bring that up is because, again, this goes back to what can happen in the next, what, 12, uh, 16 hours. So after, and this is the post Caspian post this morning when he updated the maps, I ran, this was from uh, probably about 40 minutes ago, some updated numbers. And actually, again, the 24 hour period before his post, there was only about a 1% uh, increase um, in, in influence spent. But after that, so in the last only, what, eight hours now, there's been a 2% increase. So all of a sudden now there's, there has been a jump in the amount of um, IP that is getting spent. So I don't know if that persists until 
until noon, but really just in the last eight hours, there's just been a reversal, of course, in the amount of influence points that have, have been placed um, brand new, not shifted around brand new influence. So um, it's interesting. You, you were talking about some of the maps, and I, I wanted to talk about that, too, because there's really two, as I'm kind of looking through all this, the top two for most of these maps are pretty well set. However, something interesting looking at the um, numbers, and I, I think I figured out ties, how it works. I don't have absolute data, so I don't know, but I can pretty well predict it. Um, so when you look at, again, these are sort of two map races, I guess we could call them. So um, map H, which currently uh, is, is number two for Angelica, uh, there actually is a very real possibility that Luna takes map H um, based on whether or not um, Luna pushes match or map eight up a spot. Uh, currently, their numbers are, um, oh wait, where is it? Um, I have my list somewhere here. Um, currently, it is third. But because it's third right now and it's number two on Angelica, they don't get a chance at it because Angelica takes it. Um, but if the votes flip or go up on map H for Luna, they'll, they're, only, they're only about 400,000 IP away from H being number two. If that happens, they get map H based off what I, I'm predicting they get map H. I, I don't, again, I cannot 100% do tiebreakers. I'm, predict, I'm predicting they would. Then they would also get map A, which is their current two. So they would actually get all three, <laughs> um, which actually in turn affects this battle between uh, Celine and Angelica on map L, um, which as of this morning was in favor of Angelica, which was just a turn in the last 24 hours. Prior to that, it had been um, for Celine. Um, but actually, in the last eight hours, somebody has put a little over 100,000 IP into Celine. And, I, and I'm actually thinking right now, again, I have no 100% knowledge. <clears throat> I would almost at this point, based on what I know, say that as of right now, Celine has taken it back. Um, but that would all get affected with map H as well, just because we're in this whole round robin process. Um, so there's a lot of different things that could shift. Um, and I can break it down for folks in chat. So in the last eight hours, that there has been a big jump. And that has been uh, a little over 500,000 votes or IP within Luna, about 300,000 in Angelica, and 300,000 in uh, Celine. So um, there has been a jump recently. I, I hope that continues, because um, that will change some things. Um, currently, as it is, out of all the IP uh, out there, Luna has 47% of it, uh, Angelica has 30% of it, and Celine has 23% of it. Mm -hmm. um, to give you an idea of sort of where everything stands, um, that I think again goes back into server population, but um, that's something I think we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, Talon Gaming is saying, uh, I know this isn't the Steering Plague event, but I think that we won't necessarily be seeing anywhere close to 100% no. involvement in map voting. No, I, I don't think so either. When I said close to 70%, I'm just talking IP. Um, you know, again, as of, and I don't have any idea of absolute votes, but there was, what, what did I say, 37% this morning. I mean, I think they would probably be happy if it gets to 50%. But I, I, I think, again, that's sort of expected based off of a game that's been in development and open development for so long, and, you know, we're not necessarily right at a beta. Um, so there's probably a significant portion of people that are just not interested at this point. Um, it's too bad. Maybe when they start playing the game, if they find out later that they could have had influence, they would have participated. Um, but I, I think that's accurate. That's 100 percent right. You're, you're not going to get anywhere near to close to 100 percent of people involved. Um, so, yeah, AJM still says that he suspects those with the most IP are the most involved. I think that's probably yeah. true. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. When you look again, when you just compare the numbers, so that Caspian's given us, so fifty-four percent of the IP, but only thirty-seven percent of the the voters. So I mean, there's a clear right. It's it, there's a clear imbalance between how many people, uh, you know, who has the most IP. Um, but that's how it's been set up to be. I mean, it, it's it's a game that's been set from purchase. You know, 
I mean, we all know how we get IP. Um, was, if they have the, uh, well, we'll get to that. Uh, so <laughs> this is, um, anyway, so I, I did. Say like, it, say it, say it. So they know what you're laughing at. I just said if they have the same attitude during um, DNS selection, they'll be really sorry. Yeah. Um, that's true. Um, I mean, hey, no, that's perfect. Soulbound has given plenty of, of knowledge, right? Even today, I think even today they send an email. So, I mean, it's not like there's not outreach to get people back and involved. Um, but like I said, I think that's probably just par for the course for a game development. I mean, that, that's sort of normal. People come and go and... Um, but you'll always have this core group, and yes, it's that core group who is invested that has spent the most money, and thus has the most IP, and and right, really rightly so should have the the say on these sorts of things at this point. Um, so, I wanted to also, this is post Caspian numbers. These are what I've pulled. Again, I do not one hundred percent know the tiebreakers. I think I do. Um, I wanted to go over what I think currently the lists are. Um, so for Angelica, it's still I and H, uh, followed by S, uh, K, and G. And then for Luna, it was N and A, followed by 10, R, and B. And then Celine was B, uh, sorry, not B. Um, let me get back. Celine was B, C, L, J, and uh, Q. What I'm, what I'm changing here from before, and this shifts a lot of different things around, um, was I again? I do think that that L map at this point has slipped back to Celine, based off what I can see, and that sort of shifts some other things around. And I do think that's important. A lot of people will probably look, oh well, you know, the top two are the top two. But going back to what I just said, the top two on all of these servers, not one of them has 50% of the IP. So there could be a lot of there could be a humongous difference, second round to first round. I'm not saying there will be, and there might not be. It might be people kind of rally around, okay, well, these are our five maps. I'm just going to go with, you know, whoever the, the leaders are here. That's not necessarily what's happened in the first round. Um, like I said the, the map with the 35% is the highest any single map has, and that's on Celine, and that's their number one. So um, those are kind of the numbers. I just, again, I just wanted to point out kind of where we're at now and um, also that there definitely has been an uptick in the amount of IP invested. So there's some people starting to pay attention. I expect that will continue um, into tomorrow. I don't know how much, but I expect it will. So so you're going to wait until the final hour to vote? No, I'll it's probably, getting late where you are. I will tonight. I have to tonight. I can't tomorrow be at work. Um, That's I will, I will what tonight. I'm saying. Okay. No, I will. And, um, you know, tomorrow, this was really meant to be more of a sort of quick show. I just, I just wanted to go over some of the numbers. If anybody has any questions about some of the numbers, just put it in chat. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Um, or if anything I said didn't make sense. Um, but that, that's really all I wanted to kind of go over now um, is, is, is where the numbers are. And um, Tomorrow we're going to do another show, of course, will be after everything closes and we should know um, how everything's turned out. I'm actually going to start probably grabbing data much faster than I do right now over the next few hours, just because if there is a big shift, I would, I would like to see it. Um, and and I'm, I am, I, I think, there will, I, I don't know that there'll be any changes to number one or two. The, the only place that that could occur really the only place that could occur is map H um, and that whether Angelica holds on to it or Luna takes it. Um, everything else is pretty well set. There's, there's really no way those of those top two, anybody else is going to take it at this point, as far as I can tell. Actually, it's kind of interesting. So the, the top map for Celine um, is map B, I believe. Um, yeah, so when you look at that, their top map is B. For whatever reason, on Angelica, B is next to last. Um, it is next to last. I, it's, it's strange It's a choke point thing. It's a choke point. For um, some reason, Celine wants the choke point. I don't know. And then even map C, which is their number uh, two, um, 
is way it's like fifth from last for Angelica. So and then everything else is really in the probably 10 to 15 position. I mean, the, the top two maps are pretty well taken, mm -hmm. except for H. Um, and it did take a lot of shuffling for H to get taken from uh, Angelica, but it's, I think, possible at this point. So I'll be really curious to see what happens in the next 16, 15 hours. Um, I don't know. It's exciting. I can't. Can't wait till the show tomorrow because we'll know exactly what what's finally occurred, and if everything plays out like um, expected. Um, so, anybody in chat have any questions? Anything I, you know, curiosities or anything? I have all the numbers in front of me. Um, might take me a minute to find them. The digs. Do you have anything that you're curious about or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I think it's just, uh, I, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the wee hours of the morning for us. Um, that's going to be, uh, you know, top of the day earlier for us in Europe. So, um, should be interesting. Well, Who's going to vote? Who's yeah. going to vote? Tonight, I'm going to vote last minute. I'm definitely t tonight changing the frequency of which I have my programs running um, because I'm I'm curious to see if there's any big shifts and I would like to capture it if mm -hmm. I can. I'm actually just looking. It ran another scan while we were sitting here. Um, I'm just curious to see if any more has been. But there's been another 200, 200,000 placed in Angelica just in the last hour. Um, Luna is about the same and Celine is also about the same. So there's still some movement. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, we, for folks who watch our Twitter, um, everything is sort of automated. So there's notifications if maps change. It's only one through three, though. Um, I, I didn't want to spam tweet. So it's just um, maps one through three for each server. If there's a change, there's a notification that gets pushed to Twitter. Um, and also, there's a every eight hour update as far as map positions. It is not, it is pre uh, round robin. It's not factoring in ties. It's just the top 10 um, as they stand within votes. And then, of course, our Discord. Um, I'm, I've been very active in the last few days, just sort of posting thoughts and um, where we're at and things that change. So um, certainly join us there if you want over the next 15, 16 hours. Certainly join us forever if you want. But. Um, you know, as things go, I'll do my best to um, kind of keep things updated, especially if, if there's big shifts in what we're doing. Uh, the stream, um, so everyone who doesn't regularly watch us, so we do this usually every other Friday. Um, and we are 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific um, on this channel. So um, usually we have Neuro with us and uh, occasionally SOG as well. So hopefully tomorrow Neuro will join us and we'll have a little bit more discussion. Um, beyond just the numbers that were today. Although I'm, I'll probably go over quite a bit of numbers again tomorrow too. So, um, okay. Anybody have any other last words or questions in the chat or from you? Nope, I'm good. All right. As I said, votes keep coming in, so I fully expect there'll be some sort of change. I do think the top two are pretty well locked except for Map H. Luna, if you're looking, you could probably take that from Angelica if you wanted. Um, but I, I, I think we'll see some shifts. So I'm, I'm really excited to um, see what we get to talk about tomorrow and whether there are any surprises. Um, I don't know that there will be. I do expect there'll be some shifts in three through five. Uh, three through five. So um, yeah, everyone that came to watch, uh, please check us out tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we usually spend about an hour. This was sort of an impromptu stream. That's why it's a little bit shorter. Um, so certainly come join us tomorrow. And uh, we'll get all the data updated. At that point, we'll know who's won what, and we'll kind of go over a little bit more. And then what comes next in second, uh, second round of voting. So all right, folks. Everyone have a good night. See you tomorrow. Ciao.